Hi everyone, welcome back to North Sea Angling. This video is going to be uh, comprised of two parts. Uh, the main part is me heading down Felix Stowe with my future brother-in-law um, having a little session there. The other one is what I'll just be able to pick up on my phone down Shingle Street from the other night. I'll explain why later in the video. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the watch. If you do enjoy watching it, please hit like and subscribe. It really helps us out. Morning everyone. We're on route to Felix Stowe. Going to meet up with the future brother-in-law. Right, so for those of you who don't know Felix Stowe, so from about Manning's Amusements, which is there, and the new Beach Street, down to Langards, is generally referred to as Manor End. Still a couple of hours of high tide, and the floodgates are shut behind us. And where the uh, watermark goes up here is giving me very slight cause for concern. Might well be moving back up to the wall. Anyways, we'll get set up and uh, cast out. Now what I've done in the next room, it's more of bit interesting. So it's a three boom, uh, three hook boom rig. I've taken it off and I've actually put like a panel hook on of a size three. The original hook being a size one. So the top one I've just gone for squid, bottom one just pure live worm, and the bottom one a mixture of squid and worm just to get a few different baits out and it's used to try a different kind of rig system. Oh yay! Oh, I've got something. What is it? Ah, the joys of this time of year. <laughs> That cast just blew. Oh. Got that one. <laughs> All right, well, what just happened to me is I um, literally took my eye off the rods for a, little, for a quick second, um, turned around because I could hear some shingle, so, you know, the sound of shingle kind of hitting against the uh, sound of the uh, rod stands, that metallic clinking sound, and the whole rod stand had just collapsed over. So both my rods went down and I just assumed that whatever the bite was, was going to be on the big squid bay out distance because it seemed quite a whack so I, and I presumed anything on the coast on the would be some flatfish or a white in. Picked up the wrong rod as tried to set the hook. Realised there was no weight on that one. So I literally put it down and tried to pick up the other one. There was a nice big bit of weight and for about a second there was a good fight on it and then it came off. Really frustrating because I'd love to know what it actually was. I think it would have been either a bass or a big flounder. Definitely wasn't white. It'd irritating but at least there's fish out there. A snag. Fish just swung me into a snag.
keep it in close. Bit of flatty bashing maybe. Oh, it's funny, it's what it is. <laughs> it's a little pelt here. I do love the colours on these. They're beautiful, aren't they? Mmm. Lovely little things to get. What did I say? Waiting weight. He's got something. <laughs> Probably the one that just slid off your... <laughs> <laughs> Do you buy your rigs or you make them? Bit of both. This one's pre-made. Something's fighting me. Another whitey! That's just nailed the bait again. I think we're going to have to try that little... Um, Let's with the truck. I think I might be able to get this one though. There we go. Oh, he swam off right. Have they? And that bow is a little too late. That's a better size whiting. It's engulfed the hook, so I don't know how well it will go back, but... Oh, yeah. That's a bite.
hello. You're fighting me. Oh, he really is fighting me. I reckon this will be a decent sized whiting as well. Oh no, there might just be two of them, that's why. Oh no, it's not, it's three fish. Mr. Whiting. Pop. Have you got a Mr. Whiting saying hello? Oh, that's gone quite there. We have to cast really there. So, mate, right. I cast a bit further left than I anticipated. So, yeah, you'll have to go, Jeremy Corbin. No, they're pretty much just getting double shots of whiting every cast at the moment. On the, what I'm doing is catching loads of white in. It's just this three hook boom ring. Just casting in close. Five minutes. Or less. I have a double shot. One triple shot. So I've been talking to the, the guys on Next Bay. They've just uh, once had six white and once had seven null under size. Um, so nothing else really being caught today by the looks of it, but while there's water there I'll always give it a go. Getting a little nibble. The weather today has been stunning. A mixture of rain, sunshine, dramatic clouds. So originally the plan was uh, to go out the other night, but I left my head torch rod stand <laughs> and uh, various little bits in the back garden. So when I got to Shingle Street, I had to make do with just ramming it in the shingle. And yeah, it was an interesting session. I'll, I've got a small bit of footage, which I'll include in here. Um, it's not very good quality because I didn't have my head torch, uh, didn't have my GoPro, left it all by the back door because I was in a hurry. Um, a couple of interesting things did happen though. I mean, it was 
whiting and dogfish pretty much every single cast. What we did, what I ended up catching that was interesting is one, there's a whiting which had the most remarkable kind of red fins and red coloration to it. I've had a I've few had different kind of explanations offered to me by people. One is that it's uh, from uh, salmon, wild salmon farms, uh, uh, dropping pellets into the nets, um, which basically end up dying the salmon and can get into the ecosystem. And then it, when things like whiting at it, it can change air coloration. The other one, uh, explanation offered was the fact that it could be red kelp in the area. I don't know if either are true, but we shall see. Um, Next interesting thing I had, which was on my rod which I cast out at distance, um, I put a whole squid on uh, and then when I reeled in, because I got a nice bite, I had a nice dogfish on it. Interestingly enough, when I looked out, there was a claw hanging out of its mouth. But what it turned out to be was a, quite a big hermit crab had been munching on my bait. And then the, um, which I'll show you now, and then uh, the dogfish obviously saw the hermit crab munched the, uh, hermit crab so after I pulled the hermit crab out I launched it back out within literally about 30 seconds the whiting had taken it so really interesting bait that I might try using at some point anyways I'll include the footage in here so you can see it hopefully the quality isn't too bad down before it's just you and me and tonight girl falling in and out of bars we'll kiss until our lips go numb i feel your heat inside my veins as the band begin to fade sleepy eyes still mean away to the whitewashed walls of number 17 some I feel your heat inside my veins As the bound begin to fade Sleepy eyes still me away To the whitewashed walls of number 17 Some lane Watching my GoPro batteries have all died now, so we're on the phone again. I'll go get some tough worms and we'll cast back out. All I'm doing on a pulley panel at the rod at distance, I've got a nice squid and lug cocktail. See the hook point just nicely showing up at the bottom. Right, guys, so the bike's died off quite a bit. I was getting cast, uh, fish at almost every single cast, and it was just non stop whiting. At the moment, nothing really seems to be happening, so I'll give it a little while longer. Oh! Little buggers. Just start saying the bite's dying off. Just start saying the bite's dying off. 
little whiten. I'm going to put it back, get cast out, try and use up the rest of this worm. But yeah, I still don't think I'll be staying very long. I would be home for dinner. Alright guys, it's got a last chance saloon now. Last chance of a Ray Monday. Or a Codley. Or a late bass. I don't think it's going to happen. But you never know. Who loves watching the various boats on the horizon? Just going in out of the shipping lanes down at Port of Felixstowe and Harwich. Rainbow. Wouldn't it be nice if on the last cars underneath a rainbow I caught something nice? I don't want to rush it. down to like the bare minimum now. It's got the last of my old ragworm remaining. Usually I'd probably try and give it away but it's just not quite enough there I reckon to make it worth it. The anglers who are in the next bay have uh, left up and gone home. So I'm just going to chuck the last little bit on. Have one last cast, rest of the rod and those rocks down there. And I will see you later. you want to eat this? I said I'll give myself to 3.25 and I'll pack up so we can leave here set, set off driving by half past Worst places to be though, aren't they? Done for the day. If I put money on what the result would have been in terms of what I'd catch, I'd said a load of whiting, some pouting, and one or two dogfish. And that's exactly how it turned out. Right. Thanks for the fun today. See you another time. I feel your heat inside my veins. It's the bad.